civil war. <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> um, I don't know if you know who I'm going for. I'm, just, I'm wearing a cap for the cap mm. here. Going, uh, let me see here. Um, oh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of just go over uh, what we think about it. Whose side you're on? We're gonna go over who might fade away into the dust. And then we're going to kind of go over the trailers as far as how, what we enjoyed, what we're looking for, and what we're anticipating. So overall, I am pretty much a stick in the mud. I am going for the cap 100%. Did it in the comics. Read the comics. And I'm hoping, I'm curious what they're doing with it. But Adon, where are you at? Yeah, man. I'm a huge fan of the comics. Love the comics. Love what they did. It, it was like clearly one-sided in the comics. The only thing is with the movies, man, I love like, like, t like RDJ really made it for like I I, I want to be on Iron Man's team so much, and it seems like his team is so overpowered. But I think Cap has some trump cards up his sleeve, and I, I I'm still sticking with Cap just for the sake of the comics, and it, it's good. It's definitely torn. It's definitely made a civil war just in my head. Comics, movies, ah. I love them both. Christian, where are you, where are you standing, brother? You know what? If we're, if we're basing it off of the comics, I think Captain America is a better character for sure. Now, just, uh, putting that aside, based off of the, <laughs> yeah, the cinematic universe that they've built, I'm going to go Team Iron Man. The oh. reason being is Iron Man team or Iron. Tony Stark. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> You see, the thing about Tony Stark is he is, you know, going to be the leader of, of that side going for them registering. And okay. he is 100% human. He is the one character that he, he was born and raised in this time, the time that the, the movies take place. And in, if you remember in the Avengers, he's the one that, that flew the, the uh, missile out. And, and almost died as a result of it. And ever since then, they've built up that he has this fear, this just general fear that him being 100% human, that there's powers beyond his control, and he doesn't know what to do about it. So that's kind of what's driving him to not want to continue fighting, but to find a way to not have to fight anymore. And then after all the stuff that's happened, all the innocent lives that have been lost, it's, it's unfortunate, and he what he's doing is trying to find a way to prevent that from happening in the future whereas you have the other side which is cap you know he he's got the super serum in him so <laughs> sure he, his, his heart is human but he he is enhanced so to speak so the thing about cap is that it enhanced everything that that's good about him and the good thing is about him is his loyalty especially to his friends even if they're going around murdering people and so that's one of his fatal flaws is that he can't see beyond that because he, he is so so loyal and he, he has that hope that people can always become better and they don't they're not always bad like they, they there is some redemption quality to it but i think that it, especially at the beginning of civil war it's going to be blinding him and he's going to be fighting for someone that he knows but the world sees as someone different and he's not going to realize that maybe his views and, and what happened in the past really has no impact on what's happening right now and he has to take that into consideration which he doesn't so for that reason i think i am team iron man team iron man beginning. i can see where you're coming right. from i can see where you're coming from i have some rebuttal of that but we'll get in that shortly um derek <laughs> i, mean, I you know what i'm only team iron man because oh. of black panther black oh. panther okay. all, all right. day i finally get a black person that's actually awesome <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey war machine man War Machine. Uh, yeah, War Machine. Uh, his story is his best that. buddy. The whole thing is about my best friend uh, against your best friend. My best friend can be your best friend's Anthony ass. I, no, I do not like Anthony Mackie. So he could never be in there. I don't. Oh, really, I wouldn't it, care. It's not about Falcon. It's not about Falcon at all. He's anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> but honestly, I didn't really right. pick a side. All right. I just like. That Black Panther's in there and he's awesome getting shot that. with oh, yeah. you know yeah. the bullets from the helicopter and it's like not really phasing him. And, that's awesome. I'm really glad that they're doing the vibranium suit on him. Oh, that, that, man, that's that's yeah. an epic because it brings that's a parallel awesome. to Cap. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to Black Panther definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So I haven't picked a side because I feel like we're all we're all just going to be on the same side at the end. So there's yeah. no point in picking a side because something's going to happen where they all come together 
and they're all going to be friends again. So, I don't really care what side. I just hope it's a good movie. It's going to be a great movie. It better be a great movie. I, I, I anticipate it's going to be a great movie. I, I, the one thing I do in the, to kind of go between sides is, um, yeah, Tony Stark is a human being. Yes, Tony Stark, you know, he, he's preparing. He actually is doing what we mentioned about Batman earlier. He actually created a Hulkbuster Iron Man suit. Why? Because he wants to defend against the Hulk. He did the same thing for a Thorbuster Iron Man suit, but that's his problem. Is He doesn't understand, and this is what Captain America understands compared to Tony Stark does. You cannot control these things. The people who try to control are the people who completely make the world a much worse place. Ultron, for Ultron. instance, wanted to control everything. Who's Ultron? He's pretty much Hitler. I'm sorry. But you try to control everything, and you're going to put people in a bad place. They showed the prison for superhuman beings. They're going to put heroes and villains in there. Heroes that have saved lives, that have tried to be there, specifically because they don't want to give up their identities to hurt the ones that they love. And, you know, they're not parallel with the comic books, but Cap understands you can't put a leash on them. You have to go ahead and respect them for who they are and respect their decisions because, in the end, they are just people, too, trying to do the right thing. I don't mind them so, giving up their identities. Not to everyone, yeah. but to the government, I feel like that's okay. My idea is that I think that they're going to stray really far away from the comic at this point, and it's not going to be about a Hero Registration Act. It's going to be about bringing in Winter Soldier... It's going to be about yeah. Captain America having a, a, hey, you can't harbor this fugitive that is Winter Soldier that's taking out so many people. They show this, what looks like the UN being uh, blown up. That could have been done by Winter Soldier. I think that Winter Soldier could have possibly assassinated Black Panther's father. He was like a, you know, a chief or where he's from. Right. So you have that relationship and, you know, Black Panther is chasing after him on a freeway. Just like taking them off the motorcycle, awesome. isn't that yeah. ridiculous? Showcasing, oh, that where are you going? Crazy <laughs> speed. Get back here. You shot that. It's like, oh yeah. my god, that I'm, whole scene yeah. gave me chills. I'm definitely awesome. keep under consideration. Bucky did not know what he was doing. Granted, that doesn't forgive him of the past transgressions. He still has to answer still for to answer his, his crimes. crimes. And that's what Cap needs to see. I think he wasn't Cap, in the right mind, no, but that's wasn't. what they got to explain to him, too. Yeah. And in the comics, too, it happened the same way. You know, Bucky did not know what the hell he was doing, and then okay. when they brought him back, it was a forgiveness thing, but at the same time, he did pay his dues before he was let to remotely even let back in. Who the hell is Bucky? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, um, but overall, as far as the sides go, you know, we all know where we stand. And I do definitely think there's going to be a catalyst at the end that brings them all together. However, I still feel, and this takes us on to our next subject, who's going to die? Who needs no, to die? No one needs to die. And I'm sorry, but I read the comic books, and I remember seeing it in the news before I got the comic book, and I was so pissed off because I was going to be the issue that day. And they announced it in the news. Captain America died in the Marvel Universe. I was like, what? you bastards! And I was I was pissed. And the funny thing is, like, He's not gonna die. you know, I... I Here's the hard part, too. Going back to our Walking Dead conversation. In order to progress a story in the manner that you're supposed to, not to mention, sorry, the guy that plays um, uh, Winter Soldier is signed on for 11 movies. Chris Evans is only signed on for six. So yeah. I know that Bucky is going to take the shield at one point. However, is it this movie? I don't know. But at the same time, an iconic death has to happen. If they do a marginalized character like Rhodey or, or um, Falcon or someone marginalized then it's not going to work. The only way they can pull this movie together for me is if at the end they bring so they in Thanos him. and Thanos crushes the Vision's head, takes <laughs> the stone, and simply walks away from him. Wouldn't and that be something? Th and that would be amazing. Yeah. Because at that point, it, it dubs the hero to villain complex that I have so much. You, you have Thanos just being a badass coming in saying, none of you can touch me. I'm taking this. Have a great day. And But, that, but there has to be an iconic death at the end. And So your death is... So vision. who's the death? I... I Unfortunately, want Cap, uh, Cap. I feel Cap needs to die. He's not gonna die. I, <laughs> I have to agree with you on that. You know what? Because it, it's, it's such. It would be so impactful. We got Crossbones. He's with, in it. We got Crossbones in the mix. And Sharon. Sharon's he can too. snipe Cap and take him out. You know, Cap brings himself to a, a ultimate point in the comic books where he's fighting Iron Man and has to lay down his shield and you know get booked and get sent to prison and answer for his crimes on what he did, you know, he, he rebelled against the system, right? And and I mean, just like how he did, we're not doing this against Hydra, you're doing it within your internal friends and, and what's now a rebuilding of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, maybe we have Iron Man, uh, you know, he's the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. now, now that maybe Nick Fury's not even in this movie, right? So, I mean, 
the fact that we have crossbones, we have a setup for Cap, you know, he could assassinate Cap, Cap's got to die. And I think that Bucky is going to be the one to pick up the shield and carry on that torch. And that's going to then bring the heroes back, you know, because they got the core members of the team. Cap's always been the leader of the Avengers. I think that for a comic or a book, that makes sense. But for a movie, I don't think they're going to do that. I think they still want to make money off of Cap. Mm -hmm. I think if anyone's going to die, it's going to be Bucky. It's going to be Bucky. It's going to be Bucky. Uh, I don't think they're going to go with him picking up the shield. Because that's just, that would be too good. Be way too good. And <laughs> it just leaves them with not being able to make as much money later on. But I don't think that all the rest of the heroes would then uh, rally around the death of Bucky. It would just be, you know, I got redemption for all the things that you have done, and we killed you, you know? It's like putting Bucky in, in a trial and then putting him on the electric chair for all the stuff that he did. No, he's going to try to redeem himself. He's going to save somebody, but he can't stay he's gonna, alive. He's going to pull a Silver Surfer, and you didn't see that coming move. Yes. Oh, okay, all right. Well, I see that. That's the thing. The rebuttal exactly. on that is I feel that what's going to happen is Cap's going to die in the full defense, and there's going to be some underlining that we didn't know about that's going to come up at the end of the movie that makes Bucky it makes Bucky that character. And I know Bucky's going to get eternally hurt in this movie. There, there's, some, there's some spoilers that they put out there, and there's some hints. Yeah, and so I, I, I think that I can go on and on about this, but Christian? Christian, who's dying? Who's dying? Yeah. I, I, I think Cap is going to die, and the reason why I think Cap is going to die is because someone needs to turn Tony Stark around yeah. to, to, to have him realize that maybe his way isn't the right way. And so even though, I, like, like I said, in the beginning, I'm Team Tony Stark based off of the, the movie characters, not, made, not their the comic book counterparts, but I think that um, he's good, his head's not really in the right place, but his heart is. He wants to protect the world, and I really see the parallels between stuff like Tony Stark and and Bucky, because Tony Stark, when when he decided when he created Ultron, and with the it having in mind that he wanted to protect the world, he was doing it based off of his near death experience, and also from the influence of Scarlet Witch, showing him right. all his friends dying. Right. Manipulation. Yeah. Same thing with Bucky. I, the way Cap justifies it is that Bucky didn't really kill the people that he killed. Uh, he was under the influence of someone else. But unfortunately, it's, they're, it's they're the same thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tony was under the influence of the vision that he saw and then his experience almost dying. And then Bucky was under the influence of, of the people controlling him. But to, to have Cap just full on forgive Bucky, but, you know, want to take on Iron Man. That's uh, that's that's why I'm Team Iron Man because I, I don't think Cap's in the right place, but I think that his death at the end, and I think it's gonna be Baron Zemo that kills him, not Crossbones. I think yeah. Crossbones might wow. be in the beginning of the movie, but Baron Zemo, they haven't shown anything on him, so I think he's gonna be their ace in the hole. He's gonna be the one that comes out. He's probably gonna kill Cap, and I think that's really gonna show Tony that where he, he was thinking that maybe he puts the the superheroes in a timeout when they do something bad, but really the they're, they're going to end up killing one of them. That's where he's going to say, all right, you know what, this was a mistake. And then that's where he's going to he's gonna shake off all the feelings he had before of thinking he can control things and then finally working as a, a member of the team. So I, I, I definitely do think that uh, if someone dies, it's it's probably going to be Cap. Maybe not the same way that he did in the comics, but yeah. uh, it'd be pretty ballsy if they brought Thanos in at the end of this one. Yeah, to lead to I figured... Into Civil War. I figured it'd be ballsy, but I, I, I've been craving that hero-to-villain complex so much because I feel some of the villains in most of the latest superhero films, like even Ultron, he did not feel vindictive. He, I was not very scared of him at all. I was more scared of Hulk going crazy when he was controlled by Scarlet yeah. Witch. So I was, I'm, I'm craving that... That, that whole entrance, it, that it would be the perfect entrance for him just to come at the end of the movie when everything's settled down. I'll do without it. I really hope that that doesn't happen. I do not want this to turn into a Dawn of Justice movie. Yeah. I don't need to well, see yeah. a doomsday as <laughs> feeling at the end with just like this whole rally around everyone to kill this one guy all of a sudden. I, I want them to. Because otherwise, I don't, give, I don't care about him. If they keep... 
giving us all these previews and hints and everything, and it never happens. So Take I would like them to do it. You're gonna win the war of the hero movies, but don't you do know, it. They, like they do say that the Civil War is gonna have like three different post-credit scenes, so it should be interesting to see what they choose to show after. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Pretty, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty interesting. I don't want, I don't care about any more rumors of post-credit scenes yeah. because no, that's true. Yeah, the one from um, uh, Deadpool. <laughs> really just killed it for me. I heard it was going to be awesome, and then I get it, and he's just talking about what the next movie is going to be. I did like so the I'm Ferris right Bueller's Day Off the tribute they gave. Yeah. Spider Man. Are you feeling them? Are you not? I'm feeling Spider Man. Nitco eyes, man. Nitco eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm talking about those eyes, man. You know, I, I like the new suit. Uh, I'm digging it. Uh, it's like the whole theme of you know what they got with everyone else's kind of suit. It, it's that whole style. They got the adjustable eyes. That we that we're yeah. getting now with Deadpool, you yeah. know, so maybe we're gonna see a little bit more reaction out of Spider Man too. You seem corny to me. And then the, the interaction between Spider Man and and Iron Man. Under roof. And, and, yeah. And, and, and Tony Stark. I mean, they're both pretty quippy characters, so I feel like it's gonna bring a lot of levity to the scenes that they're in. Yeah, I want to see the Iron Spidey suit. I mean, Iron I, 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 we're getting a taste of it with those eyes. That means there's nanotechnology those eyes, it, 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 Yeah, who gave him that suit? So, Where did he get it from? Where did Spider Man come from? Yeah, I didn't like the suit. I thought it was kind of cartoony. Kind of cartoony, okay. Yeah. yeah. It, I was like, oh, that's, it just looked really bad CG. So I I didn't really care for it. I don't think he needs to be in the movie. I don't know where he fits. I don't know as far as the plot goes, how long he's going to be a, in there. He's, he's just a, a cameo uh, or what? It, well, I he's don't, a very pivotal character in yeah. the comics is what it is. is so that, 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 that's why they have to include him in there. All right, guys, that's it for the Break Room Blitz. I'm DeAnthony. I'm the coach. Adan. Christian. And we're out. Go ahead and like, subscribe, email, fax, tell a friend, whatever you want to do. Comment at the bottom. Let us know what you think. Anything you guys want us to talk about next time. All right, we're out. Peace. Peace. Peace.